Man, some days I'm so freaking tired of this sh I just feel like ending it all. Oh, hi there, I'm Chris. Today we're gonna speak about mental health among guitarists. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will feel a little bit better about yourself and you will have a new important tool to deal with you know, any mental health issues or depressions you might have. Okay, so uh, first things first, the basic stuff. Everybody feels like crap at times. That's just how it is. That's a part of life. And if, uh, you know, we didn't have the uptrend, we wouldn't have the downtrend. So it's normal. However, also at times, many of us can feel that it's just way too deep. And we sometimes we feel like we just want to end our lives. That's also not unusual. So I think this is a first step to just understanding that, hey, you're not alone in this. Uh, this, is, this is a part of life. Okay, but having said this, I also wanna say that I am not an expert on this in any way. So if you do feel extremely bad about yourself, uh, I will point you to a, an important link I have below. And in fact, we're gonna speak more about that in this video. Um, but here's just uh, some, you know, peer-to-peer -peer advice. Uh, I'm a father, I'm a guitarist since a long time, and uh, I've been through some stuff that maybe can help you guys. So let's go for it. Uh, the first issue here is that guitarists are predominantly males, and it is still true that we as males are a little bit worse than our counterparts uh, in terms of uh, speaking about, you know, how we feel and how bad we might feel and that kind of stuff. Uh, so if that feels tricky to you, again, you're not alone. You have the entire guitarist population almost that feels the same. And this kind of comes down to, I think, uh, uh, the way we were brought up as kids. Um, we, or at least I, and I grew up for most part in Swedish schools, uh, or sort of, at least in Sweden. <laughs> and um, I mean... It, Typically, we're in the forefront of this kind of thing. But, you know, when I was a kid uh, 30 years ago, uh, we didn't speak about mental health in school. Uh, so I have kids now and they speak a little bit more about it, which is good. It's going in the right direction. But I still don't think we're anywhere near where we should be in order to be properly equipped to deal with all the hardship we're going to, uh, you know, encounter in life. And of course, this applies whether you're a guitarist or not. This is just basic stuff, uh, how to take care of your mental health. And uh, I like to kind of draw a comparison between your physical health and your mental health. Uh, so the thing is, if you hurt yourself physically, in most countries, uh, you're going to go to the hospital, you're going to get help until you feel better. And, uh, you know, th that's a no brainer. However, if you hurt yourself mentally, that's not the case for some weird reason. The thing is, uh, we can be as broken inside as we can be in our body. And both of them have to be dealt with. For some very strange reason, we only seem to care about the physical part, or mostly, whereas, you know, the other part is just as important, you know? What are you going to do with a working body if you're totally broken inside? Makes no sense. So uh, that's kind of the first thing to uh, realize that we need to start treating mental health the same way we treat physical health. If something is broken, you need help fixing it, okay? And there are ways you can fix it. There's just not as obvious maybe as going to the doctor, uh, but it should be, you know? So what I'm gonna do here, uh, since this is kind of the first time I touch upon this topic in, in a video like this, you know, I've spoken a little bit about it in my live streams and that did gather some traction. So that's why I, I wanted to uh, make a dedicated video on it. But what I'm gonna do is include a link below, uh, which is super important because it's a website that allows you to get the help you need regardless of where you are in the world, okay? So if you uh, wanna speak to someone in Swedish, uh, there's gonna be, uh, the website is gonna sense that you're in Sweden and it's gonna give you a good number to call just to speak somebody. But why would you speak to somebody and why the heck would that help you? Okay, so here, here's the next thing. Um, the way uh, we trip, typically treat like mental health issues, uh, shouldn't, well, at least in my opinion, shouldn't be the same way we treat uh, physical problems. 
you know, with medication, stuff like that. That can happen, but uh, there are many steps you can take before you g get there, which might be m more effective. So the first thing is, and if you ever had a good conversation with someone about how you feel, then you might notice that even though you didn't change anything, uh, there was a huge difference before the conversation in and after the conversation. Uh, basically, you felt a huge relief, like someone just had taken a stone out of inside of you. Uh, and the only thing that really changed was the fact that you were able to speak about what you, you know, what you felt or what what issue you were experiencing. So the lesson to be learned from that is a lot of times what you need to feel better right now and today is not maybe what you think. Maybe you need to, you know, get better at playing. Maybe you need that new distortion pedal. Uh, that's not what you need. Maybe you just need to speak to somebody. Uh, but that's difficult, right? Who are you going to speak to? Uh, your mom, she never listens to you. Uh, your friend, they just care about something else, whatever. That can be tricky, right? So that is why there are professionals available to speak to you, usually at no cost. So again, check the link below the video. That's some good stuff. Uh, it, it could make your day and the rest of the week and possibly the whole month much better for you. So it's worth a shot. Um, but again, the, the conclusion here is just um, typically the, the, the most effective way to, to fix problems that aren't physical is to actually, you know, let them come to the surface, speak about them, bring them out. Now, again, I'm no expert and there's a whole spectrum of, you know, issues we can have inside just as we can have with, uh, you know, our physical body and they all require different remedies. But I can tell you for a fact that if you've never spoken to someone about issues or about how you feel, just that you on a daily basis feel like crap, then I can assure you that just calling the number below is going to be insanely effective. Okay, so uh, again, the, not the number below, the, go to the website below and uh, you're going to get some help there. Um, okay, so uh, the reason I keep speaking about the, the website below is because uh, I know what numbers to call here in Sweden, but since you might be somewhere else, I have no clue where to call. So that's why uh, we need something international that can help you. Um, but uh, I don't want to make this video a whole lot longer. Uh, I just want to say that uh, if you feel like crap, you're not alone. And even better, there's help to get and you can get that help right away. So what are you waiting for, man? The better you feel, the better you'll play. Thanks for watching. I've been Christopher Dahl. Have a good one. See ya.